Hi, everybody. I just wanted to, to let you know how honored I've been to serve as a United States Senator from the place of my birth, the great state of California. Uh, back when I was a sophomore at Howard University in 1984, I applied to be a Senate intern in the office of the then senior senator from California, Alan Cranston. And this kid from Oakland, I got chosen to be one of the interns. And who would have known, so many years later, I would actually run the office where I was once a student watching the incredible work that a senator can do, and especially a senator from California. It has been such an honor to serve with a team that has worked so tirelessly, a state team that has been there where we have received thousands of calls from our fellow Californians, constituents, concerned about whether they are getting their benefits as a veteran, concerned about FEMA protections during the wildfires, uh, folks who have contacted us about helping them um, get, get support from various federal agencies when they needed help most. It has been an honor to serve when we have done the work in the United States Congress of fighting for climate protection and fighting knowing that California has been a leader and we can do what we've done in California as a nation. It's been an honor to serve with so many extraordinary American leaders in the Senate doing bipartisan work, whether it was work to, to end cash bail or the work to strengthen our national um, infrastructure around elections or the work that we did to say that lynching should be a federal crime. These are some of the things that we have done over the course of my four years, and you gave me the honor of being able to serve. And so I just wanted to say thank you. Of course, I'm not saying goodbye. Um, in many ways, I'm now saying hello as your vice president. But I do want to thank you for the honor of representing the place of my birth as a proud daughter of California. Thank you.